Hi bro, welcome to day 79 of my video diary and day 7 of my monk mode. And actually this monk mode is what I want to talk about today. I got this idea yesterday and I thought a lot about it today while working. I'm doing all this thing wrong, completely incorrectly. Because what is monk mode? What's the purpose of it? To achieve some goal, right? And instead I'm just following my schedule which is not even goal oriented it's just it's very balanced i can say because i have like two hours for reading in that schedule then i have one hour of exercising then i have one hour of thinking two hours to eat per day that's pretty a lot of time to just a lot of time wasted like not on the goals and I mean, if you just live your life without trying to really, without trying really hard to achieve something, then maybe this is fine. But for me, I really need to work a lot now, a lot in order to actually achieve something with this YouTube channel. Yeah, learn something from it. And so I'm going to actually change this now. I made a new schedule. Specifically for this monk mode. The whole day will be just pure work. I'll probably dedicate two breaks, uh, like half an hour breaks to eat. So it will be one hour of eating per day. And probably an hour of reading because it's just... It would be too much to work the whole day. And obviously I will get a lot of sleep. There is really not much that I can do in these days where I actually work my job. Because, well, there is nothing I can change about it. I have to go to work. But the thing I can... The thing I probably can change, the thing that's supposed to be my goal for this day is to first of all, don't do any bad habits like playing video games, obviously, and eating bad stuff. And another important thing for work days is supposed to be actually getting enough sleep because I'm not getting enough sleep and then I'm trying to make up for it during my days without work and so I'm sacrificing work I'm sacrificing work on my own goals to get sleep which is not good obviously and yeah it kind of makes sense why I felt that I'm not doing enough because I I did I did not did enough I did not do enough I had only like three hours of making videos in my schedule. So three hours of actual work per day. It's, it ju it's not just not a lot. It's actually very small amount. If you watch all these YouTube YouTubers, YouTube YouTubers, yeah. Uh, who are very successful, who earn a lot of money from YouTube. And they sometimes upload these videos about their schedules, their routines, daily routines and that stuff. And you might see that they actually work not much. They work a couple hours per day. And they spend the rest of their day, you know, exercising, reading, doing all this important stuff. I mean, yeah, this stuff is important, but... This stuff is important to them at their level because they can afford to work two hours per day or three hours per day or, or even one hour per day or even a couple hours per week. But I cannot. I don't have their YouTube channels with millions of subscribers. I don't have a skill to actually record a good video. So I kind of have to work much harder than they do. And obviously sacrifice some of the important stuff like 
an hour of reading. I mean, it would be much better to read one two hours instead of one hour. But I have to sacrifice this one hour in make for making videos because this is my main priority right now. I have two goals for this year. First of all, I want to monetize this YouTube channel and actually get some income from it. And the second goal is I need to train. Well, just watch my videos about my video about my goals. The second goal, I need to train my three three of my muscles. I mean, back is not a muscle. It's like a muscle group. So, yeah. But about this second goal. Training is obviously good. Like exercising, it improves how your brain works and stuff. So I don't know if I need to actually add this into my monk mode. Probably I should add half an hour of exercising per day. So yeah, maybe I'll do... You know what I will do? I'll add half an hour of reading per day. Not two hours, not one hour, but half an hour of reading. And half an hour of exercising. So now, what time... How much time I will actually waste per day if I work like that, if I follow the schedule perfectly? One hour of morning routine, one hour for exercising and reading, then one hour for eating, and one hour for evening routine. So four hours. I'll waste four hours. Let's say I'll sleep for 10 hours. That will give me 14 hours per day, so I'll, I'll get 10 hours of work. Which means that I will have to upload at least one video per day, because, like, what am I supposed to do for 10 hours to not upload even a single video? So yeah, I'll see how it works. I'll see if it will actually work. Maybe it won't. Then I'll have to change something else. But I hope it will work. Because how can I... Like, how can I not upload videos when I have 10 hours per day for it? The main problem I see now is that I actually have very little... Very small amount of days available to me. Like, half of my week is literally wasted at work. This week, even more than a half. This week I work four days out of seven in this week. So, this can be a problem. But if I work for 10 hours per day on my videos, even in three days, I'll, I'll put 30 hours making YouTube videos. Let's say I'll start making very high quality videos. And it will take me five hours to make one. I'll make six videos per week, which is almost every day. I upload almost every day. And since I also upload these daily videos, I, it means I'll upload at least two videos per day, which will be, I hope it will be enough. But again, this is a perfect scenario if I'll, if I'll follow my schedule perfectly. Which almost never happens. It's, it's impossible to follow your schedule perfectly. But still, this is... This already sounds good. So yeah, I'll see how it works. <laughs> You'll see too because... I'll actually tell you about it in my next daily videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.